Right, now Mark, you told me where to sit. He did it, he told me to bog off to be fair. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay, I go here, hi Alf. Can't miss you up. We haven't had a lot of rehearsal. <laughs> You couldn't hear the smack at the start. <laughs> but we got away with it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it's the way you roll. Yeah, showbiz, so. What's a ball and bone one? You are, you want brought that. You see, have you, have you had a look and, and seen all the merch from this way, isn't it? Catch. I've nabbed myself. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I have to say, um, when I was told, I mean, one and a half million albums so far. I say so far. <laughs> or something, but um, <laughs> um, but congratulations Thanks. nonetheless, and of course um, the up and coming, well you've already got it, which I think is fantastic, is of course um, Together in Las Vegas, and for me when I saw that, I saw the title of the album, I thought well, you know, it's a no-brainer, you know, it's it's meant to be. It feels like it, and we've, we've said this, not always meaning it after every album we release, but genuinely, this is the best album I think we've done together, don't you? Yeah. And it's certainly been the most fun. Yeah. Oh, we've had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did, because I was looking on um, social, I'm, I'm obsessed with Instagram, that's why I was just, I don't, I don't, you don't mind me filming you, do you? Without, you, I, I didn't get to sign anything. Like no, but when, when are we in voice? <laughs> <laughs> But um, I was looking and um, I saw that obviously you two had gone to Las Vegas um, and you're a Vegas virgin. Aren't I am no longer a Vegas virgin. <laughs> oh, I popped my cherry well and truly. <laughs> oh, I know. And we have it on film. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks to this man. It was. Alf's always talked about it. He's been going there for years. You know, he has a residency there. Um, did any of you ever see him in his residence? And, um, and I've wanted to, but I've never done it. And the, I, all I can tell you is if you are going to go to Las Vegas, go with this man. <laughs> Did you lead him astray, Alfie? Not yet. Because <laughs> you're the rebel, aren't you? I am. He's the naughty one. He is. He's quiet, but quite deadly. They're the worst. <laughs> yeah. So, um, for you, it, it's sort of like three words, being a, a Vegas resident, as it were. How would you describe to someone, in three words, the Vegas experience? I hate it when people oh, ask things like that, actually. Like, because you've not asked me, told me before, so I could put it Leave it, no, I can do it in four. <laughs> four words. Oh, I four. Leave it in Vegas. Yeah. Oh, nice. So there are lots of things you left in Vegas, you two, that you can't reveal to us right now. Yeah, there is body parts. <laughs> Gonna rock up somewhere. I, I, I left my heart. Aww. I had the that best... That's ridiculous. Yes, it's, <laughs> but it's true, I had the best time. And it, I, I mean, two weeks is enough. We were there for two weeks, and maybe even too much. Um, but we... The lovely thing about it is we got to, to do all the, the, the touristy stuff, but stuff that people don't get to do as well. Um, we went, oh, it was bonkers. I went to this house called the Thriller Villa. You were up in a helicopter at this point. Um, a Thriller Villa, which was the last place that Michael Jackson lived. And this guy who bought it, they found sort of these catacombs underneath the house. And that's where they keep all of Liberace's clothes. <laughs> no. Is this a joke? No! Because you said, because I'm gonna remember. I know you're, you're gonna, not joking. Right, no, but this, this is, okay, this is okay. So, and, and all of these mannequins, all these outfits that he wore. And they're not there anymore, they're in his wardrobe. <laughs> I've got our next tour sorted out. You know, wait till you see the Irving cloak you're going to be in. But that, and then I think the other one that we loved going to is just outside Vegas in the desert. They have this, this sort of graveyard for all strippers. <laughs> graveyard for strippers. <laughs> um, I went full this is a, This isn't going well. Graveyard for neon signs. So all the amazing neon signs that uh, you, you see in the movies, like the Stardust sign and the, the cowboy with his hat and everything, are all in the desert. We went sort of at twilight, they switched them on for us, and it was magical. We sang, um, you'll probably get to see it soon one day, uh, us singing uh, in this place. It was, it was quite moving, wasn't it? No, 
I didn't like it. <laughs> I know this is the role you play, Alfie, but really, but really, you're so very different. And you love this man. Absolutely. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Aww. We, uh, we I know. Start. I know that. I can just tell. And what, what, you know, you're just such a perfect combination. And I'm quite spiritual. And I always believe that, you know, you, things are definitely meant to be. And you have this, this sort of magic between you. Uh, that, you know, you come into a room and you can just tell that you two genuinely adore each other and you're generally meant to spend this time together yeah. doing what you do so yeah. beautifully. And we look after each other, thank you. Um, I think it, it's got better and it's got stronger as we've got on, and, and, and the more that we've done. I mean, on this album, it was a joy to make. We knew exactly the kind of vibe we wanted. The songs sort of came to us. The artists, we, we both adore. Alfred bring in, he brought in a great song called Ooh Las Vegas, which I hadn't heard before. Graham Parsons and Emmy Lou Harris. And stuck it on and I went, oh my God, it's perfect for us. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been a thrill and a pleasure. Thank you for doing it, Alfred. Thank you, man. You're Seems right. nice then. <laughs> so, so, and I always think, sort of, I mean, you're both amazing performers, obviously, hugely talented, but when you come to that sort of like those legends who, who sang all those iconic songs back in Las Vegas, you know, you're talking Elvis Presley, uh, you know, all the members of. Because it's two of us, two voices, it can't be compared to the original. It's, it's a different sound and it's a different vibe, so we don't have that kind of a pressure. Twice as bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true though, isn't yeah. it? I mean, we do bring something new to the song. It could be a really well-known song that's been sung by many artists, but the fact that we sing it, you know, yeah. harmonies and all that. I mean, no one's heard Viva Las Vegas, something like that. No, <laughs> <quite> like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so selfish sometimes because I just want to ask questions that I really want to know the answers to, but hopefully they're the ones you want to know the answers to too. But when you first met, can you remember what your first impressions were? And be honest, well, I know Alfie will be really honest. <laughs> I remember mine. Go on. Walking into a uh, rehearsal room for the musical Kismet. Um, oh. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Legendary production, one of the greatest, greatest West End productions ever. And I went, and I looked over, and there was him, and he was singing, and I went, oh great, younger, better looking, got a great voice. <laughs> I thought, oh, and, you know, great. Now I'm going to feel like the the uncle. Um, I, I was so impressed. He was, he was. You know, he knew his stuff. He was—he's he, very contained uh, in the rehearsal room, and and knew what he was doing. Was I, I watched him watching everybody, and taking it all in, and then would get up and would deliver. And I was really, really impressed with him. Yeah. Being that awesome. <laughs> I didn't know he was there. <laughs> If he knew I was, he wouldn't have killed me. <laughs> no, I was, I've always been impressed with Michael. You know, I used to watch him on his TV show, they turn it off really quickly. <laughs> no, I did. And we had one of your CDs. Did you? Yeah. Oh, oh see, now that bolts you say, you can't say anything just like, you know, trivially. Which one? The dog chewed it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they only had it to stop the table wobbling. <laughs> No, I was always I always admire your voice. I always do. I still do today. I think he's amazing. Well, well, don't say that. Don't say it. Well, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Well, do you know what? It's just this room. I've never been in this room, but there is a there's really a magic in here, and I can tell. Um, and just the energy and, and the love in the room is fantastic. And really, we just want to hear you sing more. Yeah. 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 So. Um, We've got a couple more songs. Are you up for that? Yeah. We'll move over here. And I'll move over there. We love this song.